Days are cooler, nights are warmer, and I put the blame on you. Time moves slow, but my heart beats faster. With these eyes, I'm looking right at you, right at you. You give me something to believe in, just what I need in. Let me play the Tyreek Hill piece because I want to come back to it and maybe we'll come back to it tomorrow uh, as well. But I feel very optimistic about where we are in the world. And I feel like we're so close. I said this yesterday. We're right at the precipice of actually cracking this whole thing open and opportunities for everybody. It just requires us to move as a unit. And Tyreek Hill said something that made me go, oh, this could happen. Play it, Smith. I'm a good old country boy from South Georgia, man. Like, I'm not, I'm not a big believer in dividing people. You know, I, I don't believe in all that, man. I believe in bringing people together um, because that's my purpose in life. I do football camps all, all across the world, man, trying to bring different people together, different kids, different parents, you know, because we in this together, baby. Like, we on this earth together. We got to live together. So when I say let, let's make a change, let's do it together. So Miami PD really all all officers across the world man because one officer doesn't you know what i'm saying like make the whole group look bad like every everybody has bad apples you know what i'm saying every team has bad apples um it's 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 my job to use my platform and my resources um so that way um i'm able to align you know with you know these you know um different stations so that's what I mean when I say let's make a change. Like, cause we don't try it at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't protest. We even took a knee. You know, we we don't did walks. Like, so what's next? So right now, me and my wife, we, we right now brainstorming on um how can we be a part of this change? You know, so it's important to us. You know, cause we want to be able to change lives all, you know, all the way across the world, not yeah. just Miami. You know, it's important to us. Okay, well I got some suggestions. I got some suggestions. Uh, you and what's her name? Kita, your wife, y'all. First of all, um, you should talk to people who are in police reform areas. And there's a lot of folk who have put together plans. How about you not coming up with a new plan? How about you engaging with people who are already doing police reform work in different places throughout the country? As a matter of fact, I was on a website today. There are like 10 different, different groups in New Jersey alone because this is a, a, a national problem with police abusing their power police abusing their power is a national problem and he's right the knee didn't work it just kept colin kaepernick out of a job the marching didn't work uh more more people were killed after george floyd the marching didn't work he's right he's right you have the power 30 million dollars a year Tariq hill just signed a contract four-year contract 120 million dollar contract you have the means you have the means and you have the power with 55% of those people on the on the football field looking like you, 25% are melanemic and white, which means there's another, uh, let me do the math, another 55, 20% that are confused. <laughs> They're confused. What are y'all? Because if you're any shade of melanin, you too could be in the same situation that Tariq Hill found himself in. So the knee didn't work. What would work though, if all of you got together and decided on one day to not play? One Sunday, one Sunday, don't play. I think that was in the message and, and let them know which Sunday, let it be one of the biggest Sundays or Monday or one week because you know, they play, everybody plays on a Sunday, but everybody sat home on Sunday, and refused to play until let's start with Miami. And here are the three points that we want to see happen immediately. I was suggesting just just bringing back CPR, which I think is what is uh, CPR is professionalism, respect, and uh, is it civility? I don't, I forgot what the C stands for. But New York, they have it on their on their uh, police cars. They don't do it, but there should be a consequence, and and there should be a panel, a anonymous panel. Every time a police interaction happens, there should be a panel that that studies it. The union should be held accountable that police officers should lose their job and be in a database and never work again. Like there should be some real consequences for the kind of interaction that Tariq Hill found himself in, which is far too common. 
Thank God for cameras and thank God for him being a damn NFL star because we wouldn't have known about it because probably there were 100 Tariq Hills in Miami that day that had the same thing happen to them. They didn't have as nice a car, probably, and his teammate too. Six foot eight man being driven to the ground to his knees. And Tariq was like, I bet I just had knee surgery. And they're forcing him on the ground like they didn't care about his humanity at all. For a traffic violation? Come on. Something could be done. I'm really excited about it. My days are cooler. Nights are warmer. And I put the blame on you. Time moves slow. But my heart beats fast. When these eyes are looking right at you. Right at you. You give me something to believe in. Just what I need. Close.